Are you an American planning your next international trip? Before you book your tickets, watch this video to discover the countries where Americans are not welcome. From strict visa policies to complex political situations, find out which destinations might be off limits this year. The United States of America. Located in North America, the USA is bordered by Canada to the north, Mexico to the south, the Atlantic Ocean to the east, and the Pacific Ocean to the west. With a diverse population exceeding 330 million people, it spans approximately 3.8 million square miles, 9.8 million square kilometers, making it the third largest country by total area. Join us as we delve deeper into this vibrant nation's rich history, culture, and landscapes. Some countries aren't too welcoming to American visitors. Despite America's global popularity, there are places where being a U.S. citizen might not get you a warm reception. Various reasons can make certain countries less friendly towards Americans. For instance, political tensions or safety concerns can influence travel policies and attitudes towards visitors from the United States. It's essential for travelers to check current travel advisories and understand local customs and policies before planning a trip abroad. But before dive into it, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Number 10. Myanmar. Myanmar, with nearly 55 million people, isn't too keen on welcoming Americans in 2024. The country has been in turmoil since a military coup in February 2021, leading to ongoing civil unrest and armed conflicts. This instability has made travel complicated, with strict visa requirements and safety warnings from the U.S. government advising against visiting Burma. Getting a visa can be a hassle, taking at least three working days to process, only to enter a place where it's not safe to travel. Moreover, the U.S. has imposed sanctions on Myanmar, which further complicates matters for American tourists. The country's unpredictable enforcement of local laws and limited healthcare facilities add to the challenges of visiting. For travelers, it's crucial to stay updated on the latest advisories and understand the risks before planning a trip to Myanmar. Political tensions and safety concerns can impact travel plans, making it essential to prioritize safety and preparation. Number 9. Yemen Yemen, home to about 30 million people, isn't exactly rolling out the welcome mat for Americans in 2024. Since 2015, the country has been in a devastating conflict, causing a severe humanitarian crisis. Visiting Yemen as an American comes with serious risks like civil unrest, terrorism, kidnapping, and ongoing armed conflicts. The U.S. State Department strongly advises against travel to Yemen due to these dangers. Getting a visa as an American is extremely challenging due to Yemen's strict policies and the unstable situation. Even if you manage to get a visa, the hostility towards Americans, fueled by perceptions of involvement in the conflict and drone strikes, makes it a risky destination. For travelers, understanding the risks and staying informed about the situation in Yemen is crucial. It's essential to prioritize safety and consider alternative destinations given the current conditions in the country. Travelers to Yemen should be aware of the humanitarian situation, including widespread food and water shortages, lack of medical care, and the spread of diseases such as cholera. Number 8. Somalia Somalia, a country of about 15 million people, faces significant challenges that can make it unwelcoming for Americans. Political instability and security issues are major concerns. In May 2022, President Joe Biden sent U.S. soldiers to fight against Al-Shabaab insurgents. This move, though strategic for defense, has not improved perceptions of American tourists. Getting a visa is extremely difficult, like trying to do something very hard in a chaotic situation. Challenges include bureaucratic hurdles that can make your stay unpleasant or even put your safety at risk. This situation is made worse by a humanitarian crisis, with millions displaced and struggling to find food. It's a tough environment, not conducive to a warm welcome. In addition to these difficulties, the presence of armed groups like Al-Shabaab creates ongoing security risks. Traveling to Somalia means navigating through a complex landscape of dangers and obstacles. 
The country's beauty and rich cultural heritage are overshadowed by these issues, making it a destination fraught with challenges for visitors. Somalia's challenges extend beyond political instability and security issues. The presence of Al-Shabaab significantly heightens risks for travelers. Number 7. Venezuela Venezuela is home to over 28 million people and has a strained relationship with the U.S. Economic sanctions and political disagreements have created a sense of mistrust between the two countries. The economic crisis in Venezuela has been severe, causing more than 7.7 .7 million people to leave the country by August 2023, highlighting the difficult conditions many Venezuelans endure. For Americans planning to visit, getting a visa isn't just about paperwork. It means navigating a system that is skeptical, if not outright hostile, towards Americans. Once you're in Venezuela, the high cost of living and tense atmosphere can make everyday interactions feel delicate and uneasy. Despite approximately 23,000 U.S. citizens living mostly in Caracas, there's a sense of being unwelcome guests in a country divided by politics and economic hardship. Moreover, Venezuela's beauty and cultural richness are overshadowed by these challenges, making it a complex and sometimes unwelcoming place for visitors. Traveling there requires careful consideration of safety and the socio-political climate, adding another layer of complexity to any visit. The economic and political challenges, Venezuela faces serious security concerns, including high crime rates and social unrest. Number 6. Libya Libya, with a population of about 7 million, is a country marked by complex challenges that deter American travelers. The U.S. Department of State strongly advises against travel to Libya due to high risks like crime, terrorism, civil unrest, kidnapping, and armed conflict. The relationship between the U.S. and Libya has been tumultuous, especially since the 2012 attack on the U.S. mission in Benghazi, which escalated security concerns. Getting a visa to visit Libya is very difficult for Americans, with strict requirements. Adding to the complications, Libyan authorities prohibit entry for passports showing Israeli stamps, making planning even more intricate. In addition to these concerns, Libya's political instability and security issues create an unpredictable environment for visitors. Travelers must carefully consider safety measures and local conditions before considering a trip. Despite its historical and cultural richness, Libya remains a challenging destination for American tourists due to these ongoing issues. Number 5. Syria Syria, known for its rich culture and history, has been deeply affected by conflict in recent years, making it a challenging destination for Americans. The country faces a level 4 travel advisory from the U.S. due to serious risks including terrorism, civil unrest, kidnapping, and ongoing armed conflict. The Syrian government's stance towards Americans is hostile, influenced by complex geopolitical tensions involving sanctions, military actions, and diplomatic disputes. Getting a visa to enter Syria is extremely difficult for Americans, reflecting the strained relations between the two nations. If Americans do manage to navigate the visa process and enter Syria, they may encounter an unwelcoming atmosphere due to the ongoing conflict and general suspicion towards foreigners, especially Americans, because of U.S. involvement in regional politics. Despite Syria's cultural richness, visiting requires careful consideration of safety and geopolitical factors, with conditions on the ground making it a challenging and potentially risky destination for travelers. Number 4. Afghanistan Afghanistan, home to about 38 million people, is a country where Americans might feel unwelcome for several reasons. The U.S. Department of State strongly advises against travel there due to serious risks like terrorism, kidnapping, and crime. These warnings paint a clear picture. Visiting Afghanistan is risky and not recommended. The visa process for Americans wanting to go to Afghanistan is extremely challenging. You need a valid passport and Afghan visa to enter, and arriving without one can lead to deportation, passport confiscation, and hefty fines. Even trying to get a visa on arrival isn't straightforward. It requires special letters 
and typically allows only a single entry for a short stay. Despite a history of diplomatic ties dating back to 1935, Afghanistan's relationship with the United States has been strained, especially since the U.S. military involvement post 9 elephants. This intervention aimed to combat terrorism, but has led to ongoing tensions and conflict. Number 3. Iraq Iraq, home to about 40 million people, has a complex history with the United States, starting with the 2003 invasion based on concerns about weapons of mass destruction. Since then, relations between the two nations have been strained. Why might Americans feel unwelcome in Iraq? Firstly, the visa process is incredibly challenging. While Americans can get visas on arrival at airports, getting an exit stamp can be difficult. The visa application itself is time-consuming, taking about 12 working days to process and requiring a valid passport. It's more about proving why you should be allowed in than a warm welcome. Beyond bureaucratic hurdles, the security situation in Iraq adds to the unease. Reports of torture and other abuses by government officials, along with the presence of armed groups, create a tense environment. This highlights ongoing instability despite efforts to establish peace and security. Despite these challenges, Iraq's rich history and cultural heritage offer glimpses of its vibrant past. Number 2. Iran Iran, home to about 83 million people, is a country of ancient history and stunning landscapes, but it has a complicated relationship with the United States. Tensions trace back to the 1979 Iran hostage crisis, when Iranian students seized the U.S. Embassy in Tehran for over a year. Today, relations remain strained, with the U.S. State Department advising against travel to Iran, citing risks like terrorism, civil unrest, and the potential for Americans to be arbitrarily arrested. For Americans, getting into Iran is tough. The visa process is lengthy and challenging, taking anywhere from one to three months just to get a response and requiring a visit to the embassy that can involve further waiting. Plus, once you're in Iran, forget about using international credit or debit cards. They're not accepted, so cash is essential. Despite these hurdles, Iran offers rich cultural experiences, from Tehran's bustling markets to the ancient ruins of Persepolis. Number 1. North Korea North Korea, officially the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, has about 25 million people and a tense relationship with the United States. Decades of political tensions and nuclear threats have shaped their dynamic, with a war technically ongoing since 1953. Why are Americans not welcomed in North Korea? The U.S. government strongly advises against travel there due to the risk of arrest and long-term detention. The case of Otto Warmbier, an American student who died after being detained, underscores the dangers. Since 2017, Americans are generally banned from using their passports to enter, making visiting nearly impossible. Even before this ban, getting a visa was tough. Americans had to join tightly controlled tour groups with strict rules. Any misstep, like talking to locals without permission or making jokes about the country's leadership, could lead to serious trouble. It's a place where freedom of speech and movement are heavily restricted. Visiting North Korea means navigating strict rules and constant surveillance. Thank you for watching our exploration of the 10 countries where Americans may face challenges in 2024. Traveling the world offers both excitement and hurdles, and understanding these dynamics is crucial. If you found this video insightful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more travel updates and insights. Share your thoughts in the comments below. Have you experienced travel challenges in any of these countries? We'd love to hear from you. Safe travels, and see you in the next adventure.